Have you ever thought about how Kavi Kushi Kavi Gum has so many big actors in it? And have you ever wondered how Karan Johar got all of them to be in his second movie? He'd only made one movie before that. He actually talked about it in this interview in New York City. Let's go watch. One morning I woke up and I looked at my dad and I said, I want to work with Mr. Bachchan, Mrs. Bachchan, Shah Rukh Khan, Kajal, Prithik Roshan and Kareena. <laughs> this is his second film. Yeah. No. And my father yeah. looked at me thinking that, you know, Dore Par Jate. <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, you should make one film at a time. I said, no, they're all in one film. <laughs> and he was like, well, what is this film? I was like, it's a family, you know, and I want to go. And do and you know, Prabhupada, it was really lovely. I went to all the actors on one day. I went to Mr. Bachchan first, okay. out of seniority, and then I left his house. And, and he said yes or no? Yes, yes. He heard the outline and he said, of course, and he was on board. Yeah. I will always remember that moment. And I left the house and I dialed. Jayanti. Yeah. And she said, but you were just here, what happened? You know, she said, I said, I want to meet you now. You know, I didn't want her to believe that I came just to meet Mr. Bachchan. And uh, then her. I left the house, I drove around the block, I called her and I came back. Uh, and, and I narrated the film to her and she was like, I can never say no to you. And I'm on. I went to meet Shah Rukh. He was shooting at Mehboob Studios. Mm -hmm. He was like, why are you narrating the film to me? We're doing this, whatever you're doing. Yeah. I went to Kazal, she was at Film Asthan. She got emotional, I got emotional, we cried again, we cried. <laughs> Then I went to meet Dugu, I called him everything and he was really, his first film hadn't released by the way at that time. Oh, okay. He hadn't had Kahona Pyare, but I had a lot of faith in him. Yeah. Uh, he said yes and my last meeting was with Karina Kapoor yeah. at, it was at her house. Poo. Poo. Yeah. And she had no interest in the first half because she wasn't in it. <laughs> and, uh, unlike Salman who just heard the first half, she only wanted to know what happens to her. And I remember her looking at me and she says, this is going to be an iconic part. <laughs> and, and I think she, she said that. Yeah. Oh, wow. oh. And I was like, you know, it's fine. Let us say she's young. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe mildly delirious at this moment. Yeah. But what she said was exactly what happened. No, no, but no, no, you forget. You always said this to me. You saw her. You saw her on camera. And you knew that that was she. Was I a actually star. saw her at the Bombay Times party standing with her sister, giving that I give a damn look to everyone who came her way. And you know, and I was like, she's poo. Like, yeah. she's poo. Like, this is, you know, she's my Alicia yeah. Silverstone from yeah. Clueless. Yeah. Like, she's yeah. my poo. And when I met her, I realized that she, because she is obsessed with herself. And I <laughs> in a healthy way. In a great way. Yeah. Like, I love, like, she's my most favorite person in the whole world. I, 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 like, I love her too. Death. Like That's literally, like, yeah, if like, somebody has asked me like, which is the one person you'd want to be stranded on an island with, it'll be Karina Kapoor Khan, like no one but her. She's just the most entertaining human being I know. Like even while shooting that scene, like those scenes, like she was just amazing. Like she just, this part was made for her. Yeah. You know, she was poo, she was born to be poo and literally 23 years later, people still yes. talk about her lines, yes. like you know. And like literally we say to each other, like you know, when I say movie tonight and she's like, Tell me how it was. <laughs> <laughs> like it is yeah. where we speak yeah. to each other. It's hilarious. Like I, she's she truly what she said at the beginning is what happened. She, it was iconic. Yeah. Tell me how it was. <laughs> Can I just say that it really stood out to me that he gave Jaya Bachchan the respect that she deserved by not just saying that, okay, I just spoke to Amita Bachchan, you live in the same house because you're married, let me talk to you too, but actually leaving the house and coming back just to have a meeting with her specifically, I think that's amazing. And everything he said about Karina Kapoor was accurate, but she's so unapologetic about it, it's great. We can learn something from her self-confidence. Let me know what you guys think. Just remember to please comment with kindness, share with friends, and follow for more. <laughs>